Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Rachel. I am so excited for today's vlog because I can finally unbox the new camera that my boyfriend so graciously bought for us. He purchased the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera and this is a very well-known vlogging camera and I see it blowing up all over YouTube and Instagram. So I'm really excited to take a look and try this camera out. So let's just dive right into it and open this up and check out this camera. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 has a two inch rotatable touchscreen to seamlessly switch between horizontal and vertical video. The Osmo can shoot in 4K with a three axis mechanical stabilization gimbal that ensures smooth shots every time. It also has Active Track 6.0, which introduces face auto detect, keeping your subject in focus no matter the movement. The Osmo has 116 minutes of 4K, 60 frames per second, or 166 minutes of 1080p, 24 frames per second footage on a single charge. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 is priced at $519 for the camera alone, or $669 for the creator combo. So I just wanna go over the accessories that came with the Creator Combo Kit. First up being the protective case. Something I like about this case is that inside it has a magnetic strip for your lenses or your filters. So for the wide angle lens that comes with the kit, you can actually just sit it in there and it's magnetic. So now it stays in there. And then when you're done using your Osmo Pocket 3 camera, you just put this cover on top of it. In order for you to put the camera into the cover, you have to put it this way. So there you go. And now it's in a protective case and it won't get damaged while you're not using it. Another accessory that comes with the combo kit is already on the camera and it's actually this extension. So it does have a release button here and you pull it down. In order to use the stand that comes with the Creator Combo Kit, you do need to have the extension plugged in in order to screw the stand in. So you plug the extender in, it's secure, and then you screw in the stand. You can also hold it with a stand as well or just prop it down on the table and then it's stationary. One of the really exciting accessories that comes with this is the battery extension. So this is essentially an extra battery and an extension at the same time. So like the other extension, you just pop that in, it clicks, you wanna make sure the side pieces are in as well. And now it is charging the camera. This also has the feature on the bottom where you can screw in the stand as well. So just screw this in and then you have a tripod stand for this. And there you go. So now it's standing stationary again. So one thing I have noticed so far that is kind of concerning is that the camera itself does get warm rather quickly. So I've been using this for maybe 20, 30 minutes and it's already pretty warm to touch. So I'm hoping that if I use it for longer than 30 minutes or up to an hour of film time, 
that it's not gonna overheat or get too hot that I can't touch it. I don't know if this is gonna be a problem yet or not. It's too early to tell, but as of right now, it's a little bit concerning because I don't like having electronics that heat up or get too warm after being used. The Creator Combo Kit also comes with a Bluetooth wireless speaker. It has a clip on the back so you can clip it onto your shirt. You can also hold it as well. It does come with a windscreen that I've already put on, but you can pull this back off again. And I just pulled that out. So if you don't wanna use the windscreen, you don't have to. And there it is. So now you have a wireless mic as well. It also comes with a carrying case to fit all the accessories in. The carrying case is really nice. So I really like that it came with that. And it also comes with a wrist holder as well. So if you wanted to put this on your wrist and carry it around with you, you could do that as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on just yet. It does come with a wide angle lens that is magnetic that you can just plop on to the front of it. There are other filters that you can get for the camera. It has a black mist filter and then it has a couple ND filters as well but those are extra and don't come with the Creator Combo Kit. I downloaded the DJI app on my phone and I also played around with the camera a little bit and got that activated. Now I just want to do a, a comparison between the Osmo Pocket 3 and the Canon M50 Mark II. Currently I'm filming this on my Canon M50 Mark II and I'm using the 22 millimeter pancake lens. And I'm just going to place the Osmo on my table and turn it on and give that a try. So to rotate the screen, all you have to do is flick it with your thumb. I'm gonna turn the face auto detect on. I am placing my face in the box on the screen so that way it can start detecting my face. And let's hit record. I don't think I'll be able to see a big difference on the cameras until I actually upload the footage, but just from looking at the screens on the Canon, it looks brighter and then on the Osmo it looks not as bright but it looks like the colors are richer and deeper so I'm curious to see what this looks like when I put it in Adobe Premiere and to see the difference in camera quality and the color. So I haven't messed around with any of the image settings on the Osmo 3 yet so I am gonna just take a look at those features. In order to pull up these settings you have to swipe so from the right side of the screen I'm gonna swipe to the left and go to image adjustment default custom and in here you can adjust the sharpness and the noise reduction but I'm not going to mess with that today so I'm just going to leave it on default confirm and I'm going to swipe from the top to the bottom and look at those settings so there is a brightness setting so I can bring the brightness down on the touch screen you can adjust the rotational speed of the camera. There is an option to do auto white balance, so I'm gonna leave it on that. There is a color that's normal, HLG and D log M. So this is what the normal color profile looks like and I am just gonna switch it over to the other profile so you can get an idea of what those look like. And I can also change the EV. So I'm just moving this up and down and this is changing the brightness that's coming in. I'm gonna leave that setting at negative 0.7. This is the HLG color profile and it's definitely not as vibrant. I don't think it personally looks good at all. I'm not sure what the point of this color profile is. So that's something that I would have to look more into to figure out what this color profile is meant to do. This color profile is called D log M. According to my research, you're supposed to use this color profile when you want to color correct and color grade and editing. So if you're really heavy on color correcting and changing things around and you're editing to have like a cinematic look or a certain feel to your video footage, then you would probably want to shoot on this setting. For my purposes, where I'm just a blog channel, I'm gonna keep it on the normal color profile. Next, I'm gonna try out the glamour effects that are on here. And in order to use the glamour effects, you do need to pull up the app. So I grab my phone so I can pull that up. So I'm gonna test out the smooth color effect first. So I'm just gonna start recording. Okay, I have the smooth color effect on and you will not see it on the touch screen on the camera, but you will see it in your app. And I have this on 99%, so I have it the whole way turned up. 
and I'm looking at it on my phone screen and I do see a big difference. My face does look very smooth and it kind of gives that Hollywood glamour effect that you see in old movies, which is kind of cool. I'm curious to see what this footage actually looks like when I put it in Premiere and I blow it up and I can see it on my computer screen. I can't wait to see what the big difference is there. Now I'm using the brightness glamour effect. I have this turned up the whole way as well. I do see a difference. Again, I don't think I'm gonna notice a big difference until I pull this up in editing. This is the slim glamour effect and I do see quite a bit of the difference down here when I'm looking at it on my phone. I don't think it looks very realistic. I think it looks kind of odd, so I definitely won't be using this effect. The last glamour effect is eyes, and I am not sure what this one does. I didn't research too deep into these because I didn't think I would be using them. When I'm looking on my phone screen, I don't really see much of a difference. It kind of just looks like my eyes are a little bit bigger. Again, probably not something I'm really gonna be noticing until I put this into editing. Another thing I really like about this camera is how easy it is to use the flip screen. So for example, let's power it back on. So when you power it on, the gimbal wakes up and it kind of moves around a little bit. And then all you have to do is flick this up with your finger and it's going to change to horizontal and I think that's really awesome how quickly you can change it because I could be holding it and just flicking it with my thumb that's how simple it is so I do really like that that it's just that easy to flick it back and forth so this is what the camera looks like vertical I think it's really nice and I think it would be perfect if you're filming a lot of short form content on TikTok or YouTube Shorts or Instagram, and I'm actually gonna put the wide angle lens on so you can see what it looks like this way as well. And that is with the wide angle lens, so that's adding a lot of extra space as well. Okay, one thing I haven't tried yet is the wireless clip-on mic that comes with the Creator Combo Kit. I've turned it on and it automatically connects to the Osmo Pocket 3. So right now you can see that there are some green bars at the top and that's how you know that it's connected. So let's just give it a try. Again, I'm probably not gonna see much of a difference until I put this in editing and can hear it through my headphones. It has a record button on the side. So I press that button and I'm going to press record up here. So now we are recording. Testing, testing. I'm gonna put the face tracking back on. Tracking has been enabled. Okay, so this is a test of the DJI wireless mic. So I'm just gonna hold it here and see how it sounds here for a test. So testing one, testing two, testing three. Hey, how's it going? Hi, my name's Rachel. Okay, so that's what it sounds like here and let's just clip it on. Let's clip it on the front of the shirt here. Probably not very stable. Let's clip it on the tank top. Okay, so now it's clipped on the tank top. So we'll do another test. So testing one, testing two, testing three. Hi, my name's Rachel. How are you guys doing today? We're testing the Osmo Pocket 3 mic. All right, we're gonna turn this off and stop recording on this one. Let's see how this sounded. I'm gonna pull up the DJI app. So just checking out the audio from the app, I don't think it sounds as good when I had it clipped. It sounded a little bit better out here, which kind of makes sense. So I think I have to play around with this a little bit more. I do have an on-camera mic for my Canon M50. It's a Rode shotgun mic, just a tiny one. And I really do like the way that sounds. So I'm not sure how much use I am going to get out of this, but it is kind of cool to like hold and have like something in your hand when you're filming. So I think it might be a cute little accessory for shorts or short form content that I'm posting on TikTok or Instagram. So I think it might be fun to use it for that. So we'll see how much I actually end up using this over the course of owning the camera. All right, so I just put it on face track to track my face. So I'm just gonna walk around my house a little bit and see how it goes. 
so far it looks pretty good because I'm moving it like in and out and back and forth and it seems to be following my face really well and the lighting so I'm going over to the window wowzers that really lights up quite a bit wow that's pretty impressive it is a cloudy day, so this is like the window that I usually go for the good lighting. Just gonna get really close. Wow, I think that looks really good. I'm actually really impressed with the quality and I do have the wide angle lens filter on top. So let me see if I can just take it off. So I took that off. Did it make much of a difference? Oh yeah, I guess it did. A little bit. It has a, it's magnetic, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that I actually kind of like the wide angle look a little bit better. Nifty spifty. I wish I was outside so I could run and see how well it did that with running. But I mean, there's quite a bit of obstacles in my house right now. It's a little messy, so. I think this is doing really well for the tracking. I'm actually really impressed. Now this is a darker corner. So how does it look? All right, it is collecting a lot of light from the window that's over there. So there's like no light in this. So I think, wow, the low lighting is very impressive. I'm trying to like go to dark areas to see how the lighting looks. Wow, I'm really impressed. And it actually has a low light setting, which we will try later to see how that looks. Wrapping up the review, I wanna to touch base on a couple of important points regarding the Osmo Pocket 3. If you utilize the glamor effect during filming, you will need to retrieve that footage using the DJI app to ensure those effects remain intact. Once downloaded, you have the flexibility to airdrop or transfer the footage to your computer. Uploading directly from your SD card won't preserve these effects, so keep that in mind because I had to learn that the hard way. While there are a few other settings and features on the camera that I haven't explored yet, my initial experience has been extremely positive. The Osmo Pocket 3 is impressive with its compact size, ease of use, and portability. I believe this camera is going to elevate the quality of my vlogs and simplify the vlogging process significantly. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing. It really does make a difference to the growth of my channel. Thanks for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.